Hey guys, it's Dr. Cratio and Dr. Rochelle, and we're chiropractors here in London, Ontario from Hainsborough Family Chiropractic. Today we're gonna to be talking about fixing anterior neck pain and the associated structures. So a couple things before, if anything that we're showing you in this video causes you more pain or just doesn't feel right, please stop and contact your healthcare provider. One of the things that's becoming really popular, just so we can talk about what could be causing potentially anterior neck pain. We all know, show the, the forward head posture. We all know that this is, a, we're all in this posture a lot of the time on our phone, playing video games, especially now because we're told to self-isolate and to be at home. But one of the things that happens in this posture is the front of your neck, the muscle at the front of your neck contract. So it's not just that your head goes forward, your head goes forward, but your shoulders round forward as well. And when things get tight in this area and here, there's a lot of important blood vessels and nerves that come from your neck that go down your arm. And when that gets shrunk and tight, it can cause a lot of referring pain, a lot of numbness and tingling in your arms and a lot of anterior neck pain. So we're going to be showing you three exercises that you can do at home. You're going to require some tools, to get these done and I'm gonna we're gonna show you how to do them with a partner as well I wish we didn't have to use the tools but we have to use the tools and you'll see why so number one let's just sit up straight is learning how to find these structures on yourself so if you go to the neck the little part in the middle the two bones that come out those are your collarbones so exercise number one is just gonna be finding those collarbones on yourself and massaging that area just above your collarbones and at the front of your neck. There's this big muscle here that you can see on me because I don't have my thyroid called the sternocleidomastoid. It's really easy to see on me. And then there's this little space in here with these muscles called the scalenes. So all you're gonna be doing is just rubbing that area and when you find a spot, you're gonna hang out on that spot and maybe just move your neck around a little bit to help get it loosened up, okay? Uh, so that's exercise number one. Exercise number two, we're gonna show you, Rochelle's gonna show you, you're gonna properly, you're gonna need a band. I'm just move the phone over here a little bit like this. So you're gonna need a band anchored to something solid and Rochelle's gonna sh show you on her left arm from the back what it's gonna look like first. So you're gonna have your arm nice and relaxed in this position and the purpose of the band is to drive your shoulder down and back. So you want this shoulder going this way and then what Rochelle's gonna do is turn her neck away and have it go a little bit back, stretching the structures on the front part of her neck. So go ahead and turn around so you can show them what it looks like from the front. See the shoulder going this way, and you want to go the opposite oh, way. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so you like, want, Wait, that wasn't stretching. <laughs> so you want to be stretching the muscles in here. If you don't have one of these bands at home, you can simply hold on to the structure. So if you don't have the band, go ahead and just hold, hold. on to something. Yep, you can hold on to something, or you can even try um, sitting. Do you want to go ahead and show the sitting on your hand? Yeah. So the same thing. You can try just sitting on your hand like that and go the opposite way. Anything that anchors your shoulder back and down. Okay, so that's exercise number two. Exercise number three, if you're going to do it with a partner, you're going to, again, find the collarbone and just on the inside, you're going to have your partner put some pressure down on your shoulder to hold it down. And then what you're going to do is you're going to raise your arm up like this. This actually kills, Rochelle's doing a good job of holding it in, but you wanna hold, there's a, a structure right underneath your clavicle called the first rib. And the first rib is what gets raised when your neck gets short and tight. So you want to create and pin that rib as we're moving the shoulder up to create the opposite motion. Now, we have a couple of devices we can show you. This is the end of our, give Enyo a shout out. This is the end of our, is it an annual mop? Okay, 
And what you can do is you can get, it's actually perfect, you can get the ball in that area as well. I've used this before, this is one of the kids' Nerf swords. Nerf swords. It doesn't work as good, but it's the same type of idea. Okay, if you don't have a partner at home, Rochelle's gonna show you how to do it with the Enyo mop against the wall, and I'll bring the camera over. Or if you have a broom and a golf ball, or a broom and a baseball, you can use that. So it goes against the wall like that. You wanna make sure that, again, it's in the first rib. How's the camera work there? Great. Not bad, huh? Okay, and then the same thing. Once it's pinned, you're gonna start with the arm down and you're gonna go overhead. And Rochelle's gonna have a hard time because her neck is it's pretty painful for her, but if you can get your arm to the ground, the goal is to get your arm to the ground and have it be straight. It can be pretty challenging. So how many times are you gonna do that exercise? You're gonna do that exercise until it starts to get a little bit easier for you to do. And now, of course, these aren't permanent solutions. The permanent solution to, to, to this problem is not just to do the exercises, but to get yourself into a better position. So that's fixing anterior neck pain and hopefully relieving some of the stress going down your arms. Hope you're having a great day and uh, we'll talk to you soon.